Yo, what's good? So basically, I just wanted to talk about Take A today, and if you're wondering why I wanted to talk about him, I just think his music outlasted so many of the other similar type of rappers from his era, and it's kind of sad what happened to him. And I just think that the way his career played out is super rare and very interesting to look at, but of course, just really sad. So anyways, let's get into it. So the first reason why TK's music or just career or just image aged so well is number one, he did, he like lived what he rapped about. That's like the number one thing as a rapper. If you don't live what you rap about and you're rapping about all these crazy things, it's kind of, I don't know, it's just really hypocritical and people just don't want to hear it. And if you are living what you rapped about, like TK was, and you take it to the next level, like what he did with the race, people are just gonna go crazy for your music and you. And that's kind of what made so many people gravitate towards Take When Take first started blowing up for the race, like everyone was like, damn, this kid is crazy. There was that music video. He was um he was like on the run, like literally on the run. The authorities were looking for him. And all the songs on his SoundCloud were all hitting. Like he had a very he had like a no miss discography. Other than like these new leaks that have come up recently. But if you look at almost every Take song that's out on his SoundCloud while he was right before the race or a little after. Literally everything was like a hit. They're all just really good songs. You can look at songs like Murder She Wrote, Get Silly Freestyle, Mega Man. All those types of songs were all crazy. After he uh, got locked up, he dropped a song called Hard and another one called After You. And there were some leaks. But everything before that, especially his album Santana World, was really, really, really good. Like this guy just wouldn't miss. Back then, everyone, I don't know, I don't know. I was kind of like, I was in seventh grade or sixth or Yeah, I was in like seventh grade. I remember... I don't know, I didn't really like think anything of him getting locked up. I kind of just thought he would get out and he would just keep going crazy. But obviously, you know, he got sentenced to like 50 something years for something he didn't really have that much of a part in or just the the amount of years he got was crazy. And he did do some other stuff. It's pretty uh, wild. I think he gave some old man the beats and robbed them while he was uh, on the race. Tege was also like fairly underground, like he was in the underground scene. The race dropped on DJ Fat's SoundCloud. He has a song with Duop Kane. He was into like Blade and he was seen wearing like goth money merch and stuff like this guy was tapped in. He was a cool dude. And another thing about TK is at the time, a lot of people don't remember this, but he was actually beefing with YBN Namir. He was like, damn, that dude sucks. He stole my flow. He stole this. He stole that. He just stole his wave. And he was kind of true. He was kind of right. When TK blew up, it was like this new sound and YBN Namir kind of capitalized. I wouldn't say off of TK sound, but off of the sound that um, he blew up off of, but he didn't like steal it from him, if you know what I'm saying. Obviously, TK locked up, didn't like this, I was like, screw that guy. YBN Namir also at the time dropped a remix of TK's The Race, which he probably didn't like either, but I think he was locked up when it dropped, so, you know. But at the time, YBN Namir just blew up like crazy. Obviously, he wasn't locked up, he wasn't really living what he rapped about. He had plenty of freedom, and he used that freedom to drop a bunch of, I'm not gonna lie, pretty good songs. They were on Lyrical Lemonade, I was bumping them back in the day, in like 7th grade. But looking back, compared to what TK dropped, YB and Namir's stuff is like mainstream, a little corny, not that creative. And what TK dropped was like special, you know what I mean? You can listen to Santana World front to back and that's a good album. You can listen to any one of those singles he dropped. They're all like hard songs. YB and Namir, he didn't even drop a project or he dropped some like kind of project. He had a couple singles. It's like, okay, those were cool back in the day, but it's not really like TK what he was dropping, which just goes to show that the best music always outshines everything else. Like another artist who also kind of and I would say he's better than YB and Amir by a long shot, Comethazine, but not as good as Take. Comethazine also kind of came up. What's funny is I think Comethazine, there was like the scandal back in the day where Comethazine, uh, there was a leak of YB and Amir's song on SoundCloud. And SoundCloud has this feature where if you upload a song and you have like premium or go plus or something, you can replace the audio. I think uh, Young Fazo did that on his adding song with Sofago. He replaced this old verse. And uh, the person who leaked YB and Namir's song was paid by Comethazine's management to replace trending YB and Namir's song with Comethazine's song. And that's how Comethazine blew up, which is just like an interesting piece of lore to me. But yeah, Comethazine, he also had a SoundCloud run. Um, you know, he did his thing. He was cool with like candy, a little candy paint back in the day. He was also relatively underground, not in the same scene, I'd say, as TK, but you know, he was doing his thing. And he dropped good music, and I would say Take's music is a lot better than Comethazine's music as well, to be honest. Or not a lot better, but definitely his hits different, had a different vibe, and no one really had his sound from back then. He had like a cool cloud rap, but also street rap sound, and uh, it's very hard to replicate that. Like, how do you replicate a teenager doing some crazy crime, getting locked up, getting released on house arrest, dropping a bunch of crazy music, cutting off his ankle monitor? doing the race, dropping a song called The Race, it blowing up, he gets caught, locked up, and his music was just really good, and it was like a small amount, 
and he had like a good image, you know? And that's kind of what I want to get into next, how people look at him today. If you look at Take today, there are a bunch of like aesthetic edits of him and I don't know how to explain it. They'll like edit him in like a like a cute anime way or or of course, you know, TikTok was the thing after Take it got locked up. A lot of his songs went pretty crazy on TikTok and that's how a lot of like younger people listen to Take it. I think my little sister listens to Take it. It's like on her Spotify playlist and stuff. I was like, what? Take it? But um, yeah, she's like 13. So it's kind of crazy how um, mainstream he is. But what's saddest, what is the saddest about the whole Take it thing is the amount of lost potential with Take it. Like he had a lot, lot of potential. Remember how YB and Namir blow up, Kometsin blow up? That was also when uh, 21 Savage was like arguably in his prime. That's when he dropped like Bank Account, that song with Post Malone. Like those are like, that was like that era where it's just that sound of like trap beats, like, uh, an aggressive or not aggressive, semi like kind of aggressive street rap type of vibe or whatever you want to call it was going crazy. And if TK had stayed free for just two or three more years longer, like who knows where he would have went, what he would have accomplished. Like his song Hard he dropped afterward was like the song name Hard. You know, like he just dropped a ton of, um, oh, I almost forgot. 21 Savage and Young Nudie even remixed the race, which is pretty cool. But uh, of course, you know, unfortunately, TK, he got locked up. Everyone was like, man, free that guy, free that guy. He's going to beat the case. He did not take the plea. The plea would have given him 30 years. I believe two of the girls that snitched each got 10 years or 20 years or no, I think got like 10, 15 years, something like, and they had parole halfway. I think his friend got 30 years and uh, TK got 50 something years, which is crazy. By the way, he was tried in his adult even after he was 16 years old, which, you know, I understand if it's like a super, 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 uh, super heinous crime. It's like heinous crime. It's like, dang, why would you do that? I understand then if someone or the law or the court is like, we well, need to try them as an adult. Like that is disgusting. This guy does not deserve to be outside free. But what TK did is, you know, he didn't fire the, the weapon. He didn't intend for it to be a M word case. And uh, he didn't even like he didn't do anything crazy like bro 50 years that since obviously he hated it but he hated it but you know the girls that snitched got 10 years each i think or something and one dude he got life or something because he actually fired the the, the weapon and the, his other friend got 30 he got 50 but they didn't take pleas like come on obviously the justice system is like complicated and that's not how it works but it's like really really crazy it's just crazy to think about like man especially when you uh, take into account that he made some really good music he does have another case that's kind of disturbing but uh I'm kind of biased, so I'm not going to get into it. But anyways, thanks for watching. Just a video, you know, on uh, one of the rappers I used to listen to a lot in like middle school and stuff. I don't listen to him as much anymore, but sometimes I listen to songs like Get Silly. I was swear he's got good music. That's really what uh, I was trying to get out there. Like this guy's got solid, a solid, solid, solid discography. And it's just so weird and interesting to me how like someone like TK, who really only in such a short amount of time put out such great music that completely wipes or clears anyone in that lane from that era really like i don't know I'm, there's some people obviously like i'm not saying duop kane is right i'm talking about the people i was mentioning like comethazine yb and amir you know those guys but yeah he is locked up for like 50 something years and probably will get another 20 or 30 slapped onto it so yeah he might just never get out which is sad but all right thanks for watching have a nice day bye